to my channel so this is the third part of the Salesforce DX how-to tutorial on part two we talked about developing against an org for Salesforce DX so this is a typical workflow for that development you develop against a sandbox once you're done you push your code to source control and you deploy it to your uh, staging environment and then deploy it to your uh, UAP then pre-prod and then finally production so let's get into it. So last tutorial, we push our code to GitHub. And from here, we're going to create those um, different branches. So I'm going to create a pre-prod environment, a pre-prod branch. Going to create a UAT branch. And finally create a staging branch. So we now have four branches. I'm going back to my Salesforce DX Visual Studio code. I'm connected to the Brave Goat uh, development org or DE org. I'm just going to go run the git command git fetch to retrieve all the branches, uh, the remote branches. Cool. And I'm going to check out the staging environment. And once I'm on the staging environment, I'm going to create a new feature branch. So git checkout, uh, give it a name. It could be your Jira ticket or your ADO ticket. Um, for example, it's a Jira ticket and I say 555. And then from here, you can start uh, preparing your package or your release artifact. So one thing I'm missing here is the objects that I needed to make my package deployable. So I'm just going to add this here on the package XML. So remember from last tutorial, you have a package XML that is connected to the org that you would retrieve and it would convert it into the source format for DX. So I have this and I also want to remove the lightning web component. I don't want this to be tracked anymore. And I'm going to retrieve from manifest from source. So that should have pulled it down. So one thing here is it updated the test classes, anything that got updated on the org. It pulled down the objects that I needed. As you can see for the objects, it's broken down into several um, directory, which is very handy on managing this monolithic uh, metadata. But what it didn't do is it didn't remove the metadata that I removed from the package XML. So with org development, you need to manually delete that. So I can delete that from the project org. Yes, delete source. And once I'm done, I'm ready to commit my changes to version control. So I'm going to just quickly say git add shortcut, um, add everything. And I'm going to commit it. And just going to set up an upstream and push it. So this is going to push all my changes to uh, the repository, which is in GitHub. So once you open that, typical Git workflow is you make a uh, pull request to the branch you want to merge into. So I have my feature branch that I want to merge into the staging branch. So you make a pull request and you could assign a reviewer so another developer could review your code, uh, reject it or make some changes and make some comments if there's something that needs to be added or modified. So for example, they're happy with the code changes. You could do that by clicking here on the files change and you could see what has changed and they're happy with that. Um, they could go back and merge that pull request. So it's going to merge my branch, my feature branch, the staging branch, and they could delete that branch if they want to. So we're just going to do it manual for now. There's no automated process here to deploy it. But on a typical uh, enterprise environment, you have a CI CD at the background, which will deploy this for you. I'm going to step down into how that would be done manually. So let's go back to the X. I'm going to uh, check out the staging environment and say git pull. 
grab the latest codes from the repository down to my local machine. And finally, um, we're going to prepare the release artifact. So to do that, you say sfdx force org um, source and say uh, convert. You want to target directory to convert. Uh, target. If you're not sure on the command, just type dash h and it would give you more tips. So convert would, I want the output directory and the source path. So let's do that again. Um, say root directory is going to be force app and the output directory, I'm just going to name it convert. So it's getting my source format, converting it to metadata. So if you click this metadata section here, uh, this folder that I created here, it has all the files. And you would see on the object level, it's uh, back into the original metadata format, not on the source format. So now this is ready for deployment. This is your release artifact. You could zip this and then deploy it, or you could just uh, as is have the folder there and then deploy it. So we're just going to have the folder. So sfdx force, you call the metadata and say deploy. And then um, your target directory, your deploy directory is convert. And we want to run all the unit tests, test level and say run. If you're not sure on the command, just hit enter. And it would give you all the options for that all the parameters that you could pass there. So we want this. And make sure you deploy to the org that you want to. So right now I'm connected to my development org. I'm going to deploy it on a different org called DevHub. So once that is done, it should now deploy. So I have that org you say sfdx force org open and you could monitor how the deployment is going from the deployment status on setup so components are loaded now it's running all the unit tests cool so now the package has been deployed then uh, you could you could uh, check your code if it's working on the staging environment and everything's fine then you can start promoting your code from your staging environment to your UAT pre-prod and ready for deployment. Uh, so on the next video, we're going to talk about automating that process, automating this process and how we could do that on using GitHub Actions, which is a new feature on GitHub, which allows you to have some CI CD functionality. So that's it for now. Hope you like this video. Thumbs up, thumbs down. If you need uh, and if you have some questions, post them in the comments below. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye for now.